Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talks. Today we will try to install ELK that is Elastic, Logstash and Kibana on our Windows system. ELK can be installed on Linux and Mac OS but today we will only focus on Windows system. A point to note over here. This installation is to get our hands dirty on ELK. In actual production environment, the installation is quite different. So what basically ELK means to us? E that is Elasticsearch, L Logstash and K Kibana. Elasticsearch is an open source distributed readily scalable enterprise grade search engine. It comes with various APIs through which we can push the data to Elasticsearch cluster. Logstash Logstash is an open source server side data processing pipeline that can ingest the data from multiple sources simultaneously and can transform the data before sending the data to Elastic. Kibana Kibana is a browser-based analytics and search interface for Elasticsearch. It is used to see the event data which is being pushed to Elastic server. So, to install Elastic, we require few packages. You can download the ELK from the given link. Same link can be found in the video description. I have downloaded the Windows package for ELK installation and put it in a folder called Elastic install. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract Elastic, Kibana and Logstash over here. As you can see, I have unzipped all the folders Elastic, Kibana and Logstash. Now to start Elastic, I will go in the Elastic search folder under this, under the bin and I can see a file with the name as Elastic search that is the Windows batch file. I will double click on it to start. As you can see, a command prompt has been opened. Over here you will see our IP address with the port number which is for the elastic. Yeah, you can see it is started. The IP address is 127.0.0.1.9200. So 9200 is the elastic port. It's a by default port. We can change it through the configuration file in the config folder under elasticsearch.yml you can see this is the port this is the default port for elastic so let's go to browser and see how does elastic look like we will type localhost with the port number 9200 and yeah, we can see that Elastic is up and running. This is my system name. This is the cluster name which by default is Elasticsearch. This is the version number. I am running Elastic 7. This is some build favor that OS says, build type is zip and these all informations are there. Okay, so now we can see that our Elastic is up and running. Now we have to start our Kibana. Go to Kibana folder. Kibana 7.0 Windows folder in the bin you can see the first file Kibana that is Windows batch file double click on it to start the same thing a command prompt will be started you will see a IP address and a port number with the starting message which indicates that the Kibana is up and running 
over here you can see kibana has created a dot kibana underscore one index for itself this index can be seen in the elastic Now you can see that Elakibana is up and running with the port 5601 at localhost. So we will go to localhost and see what is that 5601 port. Localhost 5601 port. And we can see a beautiful UI of Kibana is being loaded. For the very first time, it is asking whether I want to try with the sample data which Kibana itself has is providing or I want to explore with my own data. So I will go with my own data now. This is Kibana UI. This is Discover, Visualize, Dashboard, Dev Tools and Management. For the time being, I am not explaining about the Kibana UI. We will discuss uh, about the Kibana UI in the later videos. Now, to use Logstash, you need to have a configuration file. As I have already told you, that Logstash is a pipeline which will push the data to Elasticsearch. So, let's go to Logstash folder. Inside the bin, you can see a Logstash Windows batch file. We will use this file to push the data. To our elastic server. To make Logstash work successfully, we require a configuration file. So we will create a configuration file. A Logstash configuration file has three parts: the input, filter, and output. Input is compulsory output is also compulsory filter is a optional for us so for the time being we will remove filter from here now for the input we are going to take the input from the standard input that is the console so what we are going to do is we are going to just write std standard input that's it and for the output since we want to push the data to elastic so we will mention elastic search opening and closing of the braces and then we'll mention the host in the square bracket i will mention the ip address or the host name and the port number since I don't have a username or a password so that is not required over here and I have to mention the index where my data should go so the index will be my first log stash and that is what it is required so I will save this file I will go and save this file under simple conf. Okay, now I have saved this file with the name as simple conf dot conf. Now we will open Windows PowerShell. Over here, we will go to the Logstash folder that is Downloads, Elastic Install, Logstash 7. As you can see, our simple conf file is over here so what we are going to do is we are going to log stash under this we I know we have a folder called bin in that we have a file called log stash this is the same file 
which is mentioned over here now I have to pass the configuration so I have to put hyphen F and the configuration file name that is simple conf which is this file localhost 9200 index my first log stash input is standard input output is the elastic and what I'm going to do I'm just going to hit enter that's it now it will wait for me to put some values so I have some flight data over here I will copy around six records and replace and replace over here As you can see it is processed now I have to go to Kibana UI and see whether the index is created or not so go to Kibana UI in the management index pattern you can see my first log stash is already over here creating index pattern in Kibana basically is mapping the Kibana UI with the elastic index so I have mentioned my index name over here and will click on the next step. It will ask for the timestamp. We will mention use at the rate timestamp which is default timestamp value for the Kibana UI. Now you can see I have uh, created my index. Over here this is the message whatever data I have inserted from the PowerShell should come over here so to view the data I will go to discover page and you can see my index is coming over here see these are the records which I have pushed just now so just expand it and you will see in the message the exact message whatever I have pushed the data is over here See the sixth one, Vivek International Airport. Uh, you can see this record. It's exactly the same with this one. So, once the data is over here, you can visualize the data and create different visualizations on top of it. Now, we are done with the installation of Elastic, Kibana and Logstash on Windows and we have seen a basic use of Logstash to push the data to Elastic. If you like the content, hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.